Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to print from your phone on a Canon PIXMA TR4500 series printer. This will be a full tutorial so let's get right into the video. So as you can see this specific printer is the Canon PIXMA TR4522 but this process will be very similar if not the exact same for all of the Canon PIXMA TR4500 series printers no matter what TR45 blank blank printer it is. This is the TR4522 but there are other TR45 blank blank printers that are going to be part of the TR4500 series. So let's get right into the video okay. It's actually really easy to do. You need to make sure that your printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. So you need to set up the Wi-Fi on your printer and also on your phone and I did that through the uh, through the Canon print app okay. So I'm going to show you how to do it through the Canon print app and also how to do it through AirPrint if you're using an iPhone like me. So let's swipe over here. What we're going to do is go to the, uh, where's the Canon yet? No, it's not here actually. Uh, yeah, no problem. Wow, it says I'm in Ottawa. I'm definitely not in Ottawa. I live in Toronto, but maybe I have it set like that. Uh, I have it set like that, I guess, uh, to see what the weather's like in Ottawa. Anyways, that's a whole different story. We're going to go to the Canon print app. And you can either print a document or print a photo. I'm going to print a photo just to make this nice and easy. So I'm going to click photo print. I'm going to choose a photo from my smartphone, just like that. Okay, I'm just going to choose this photo right here. I just took this picture just right now recently um, for this video. I'm going to click add over there. It's just all pictures I took for having a printer, basically. Uh, printer tutorials. Um, that's what all those pictures are there for because I did many different printer tutorials. Now that I've chosen the photo, I'm going to hit next. It's going to bring up options. So now it's going to show me it's going to print 4 by 6 in color. Total prints, one image times one copy is one by one. I can change those settings or I can hit print. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to hit print. Keep it nice and simple. I'm going to hit print. Okay. Uh, try that one more time. There we go. And what it's doing is it's processing. So it says uh, keep the screen displayed. It's, uh, you know, it's printing the image one of one. I'm going to leave this over here. So I don't know if you can hear right now, but it is actually going and printing it. Um, it won't take that long. Uh, I should have printed black and white. It would have been a little bit faster. I didn't think about that. But essentially, it's printing the image now, okay? Now, I'm going to explain what to do with AirPrint. Um, just because it's going to probably take just a little bit to print the image because it is printing in color. Although the image isn't that big, thankfully. Um, but I should have done it in black and white to speed it up. I do apologize. Now, with AirPrint, AirPrint is basically uh, Apple's way of printing... Um, you know, wirelessly. So once you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer, I believe you can print via AirPrint without even using the Canon print app, okay? So once you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, all that you have to do is when you go and choose your photo or your document, you're gonna hit like the share button at the bottom, and I'll show it in a moment, and you're gonna hit print, and then you're gonna get to choose your options. Very similar to this now. With the Canon print app, the benefit is that you have all different options, right? So you can, um, you have you have different options to scan to copy to print like you have all different options to do anything through the Canon print app however with AirPrint it's just the iPhone's built-in way of printing essentially so you want to keep that in mind I like using both of them I like using AirPrint and the Canon print app so as you can see um, prints relatively quickly considering the fact that it's printing in high quality color Okay, relatively quickly, as you can see right there, there's my beautiful face. I know I'm behind the camera now. Uh, I have over 5,000 videos on this channel, so if you want to see my face, you can definitely go check out any of my other videos because I'm in quite a few of them. Uh, most of them, I would argue. If not, you're going to see my hands flapping around like this. Anyways, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Photos app. I'm just going to grab that same picture that I just took. I'll bring it on screen in a moment. So here's the Photos app. So literally you can say I took the picture today just, just to make this video. All those pictures of my face are literally just, um, just, just, just pictures that I took for printer tutorials over the course of the last couple of months. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the share button down here. I'm just moving my uh, phone off screen just in case there's any information, but I don't think there will be. I'm going to scroll down and from that button I'm going to hit print. Okay, it's going to bring up my printer options, Canon TR4500 series, presets default settings, one copy, I can choose more or less, black and white, I'm not going to, I would do black and white now, but I'm not going to actually print another picture of the same kind, paper size letter, uh, media quality, it's saying you can auto select, the, auto select the media type, normal quality, and there it is, when I'm ready I would just hit print. Okay, I would literally a print and it would be able to print the picture. So that's how to print via the Canon print app. 
and also via AirPrint. And if you have an Android phone, it's gonna be slightly different, but very, very similar. So that's it. That is how to print on the Canon PIXMA TR4500 series of printers from your phone. I showed you how to do it on an iPhone, but it's gonna be very similar, whatever type of phone you have. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.